drink water podcast. Yes. Drink sausage podcast, baby. Oh, sure. We're back for another episode. Drink. We have a special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up? This is Jackson Grant. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me, boys. Oh, anytime. Yeah, this is a very, very interesting crossover. We had yeah, the Sausage Boys. Yeah, this is kind of the other way. We've been guests on the Sausage Boys podcast, and now we have Jackson. You were boys. a guest. Oh, so oh. That, that was drink sausage, so this would be water. So, so, sausage water? water? Sausage water. <laughs> oh, no, no. Sausage water. Yeah, I think. Oh, no, it's boy water. <laughs> boy water. Boy <laughs> water. <laughs> water boy. Yeah, this is the Water Boy podcast. Water boy. <laughs> and we do things a little bit differently around here. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a silly... Take um, the glasses off, son. <laughs> 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 We're inside. <laughs> we have a little bit of... in here. I'm uh, hungover. I'm, uh... Oh, what did you do last night? Yeah, what was going on? Actually, no, I'm not hungover. I just... Uh, like, I feel like maybe like... Three months of vaping every day. You Had a quit. day off yesterday. Wow, congrats. Trying not to. I've tried not to like quite a few times. And it's so tricky. Is that uh, a bad thing, I getting off vapes? just brought out the, all the new laws that they're banning vapes. Yeah, they, it's like they, crazy illegal yeah, now, isn't it's it? It's about time. They did do this like two honest. years ago and it kept happening. You know what else is illegal? They never enforced it though. What Meth is, is illegal. Oh, and you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard you can't do it at a pub though. Relaxing with your friends, yeah, Same that's way true. People vape. Would that be a yeah. problem? It's the whole like drug legality issue, where it's like, what is the answer? Is the yeah. answer to legalize everything? I think literally? it's mainly to stop kids from getting them easily, which is good because right. it's so addi- even it's insane. Even it's cigarettes kind of- stink. You have to go outside to do yeah. them. There's like natural deterrence vaping. Tastes no like candy. Yeah. You do it, it inside. Does. Smells great. I'm out in the like smoking section. I wish everyone vaped. Really? Yeah, I can't stand cigarettes. But I love like... I'm oh, we got passion fruit. I hate we seeing got... vapes. So I hate seeing adults vape. It just looks a bit childish. It's very I mean, sad. almost four kids at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah cause cause it's, like, it's, a, it's a childish thing to do. It's like, why do you need fairy floss? Yeah. It's, it's you're like, yeah. You're, you're in like your 40s. 30, uh, like, yeah. smoke a cigarette or just don't do it. <laughs> yeah, or if you're going to vape, at least make it fucking nicotine. Yeah, yeah. Cigarette <laughs> flavor. <laughs> it's like those weird pink ones and like these people, adults are like... You're just like businessmen, like yeah. suits. And like, they've got this huge cloud. It's obnoxious to have a huge cloud around you if you're in a suit. Yeah. You shouldn't be allowed to vape in a suit. Yeah. You need to be vaping if you're like dressed like a hipster, like you two. Yeah. You two can kind of vape and it'll be like, oh, okay, there they go. There's some young, reckless kids. There we go. It's funny. It should. It's kind of a cool thing. So have you quit now full time? Yeah, I never want to do it again. Um, but it's so addictive. I used to smoke cigarettes. And, True. That was a um, transition? No, I stopped smoking cigarettes cold turkey after maybe trying to stop like four times and over no the course vape, of like you went four years. To vape from that. No vape for... No, I didn't touch a cigarette or vape or anything for like two years. Wow. And then tried vaping, you do a little bit of it, and you're like, this then is Trump a silly thing. Office. And it's just... <laughs> Everything changed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything literally changed. Yeah, yeah. I was watching that thing last night, I think the Trump roast. What's the, oh, yeah, the water isn't opening. The podcast can't go. start until it's open. Okay, now we started. Now it's started. Anyway, podcast. Uh, Trump... Uh, president Trump, uh, what is it? The Donald Trump roast I was watching. He's still yeah. the president. He's <laughs> <laughs> still my president. <laughs> it's uh, Yeah, it's interesting, just the idea that everyone loved him. He was like this whimsical character that everyone was like, you're a G, you're cool. Previous to becoming Yeah, president. before becoming yeah. president. Yeah. It is, uh, it is a very interesting idea. I guess people don't want a G to run the country. Essentially, yeah, because who would who would like the example of that being in Australia? It's like someone who's like beloved. Everyone's kind of Carl Stefanovic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would be, I don't think anyone wants a celebrity to like a run the run the country. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like what Harold like from Neighbours, monarch. Um, yeah, someone who's kind of rich, powerful in the media a John lot. Ibrahim. Yeah, that might be it. That might, imagine if, if John Ibrahim became, became prime, prime minister. minister. There'd be so much of a backlash. <laughs> it's funny how much smack every Australian talks about politicians, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then it literally is something like that. Like we've got some dude from Neighbours running for... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, <laughs> you just got like Harold. Literally Harold from Neighbours. Yeah, Alf. And Alf Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a good one. I wonder if like... Office. Would people... People always say like, oh, I'd love just a nice person to run it. But imagine if like, let's say Steve Irwin was still alive and he ran for Prime Minister. Do you think people would turn on him? Probably if he's like... 
all the money's going to the animals. That's true. Yeah, only so much. Yeah, yeah people literally have the rents going up and like, yeah, all, most, most of the budgets. Issues. I think that's what, it's the idea with the homes. greens. I think it's yeah. the idea with the greens where it's like, okay, if this actually happened, what would go on in society? What if your rent went all the way up and we're putting like all this money towards, what is it, stopping like carbon emissions and um, helping the forests and that having a sustainable future? Drop the rent, build affordable housing, things like that. Do you think it would actually work? Probably not. <laughs> it, is, it is one of those classic <laughs> ideas of like, if the greens did get in, would it be for what the, for the best? Do. Is it like the kids running the <laughs> running the household? Is it like it's like kids dessert every night? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. The inmates have taken over the asylum. <laughs> they just have yeah, like Parliament House is just like um, yeah, it's just like chaos going on. Everyone's like kicking hacky sacks, vaping inside. <laughs> just, 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 yeah, everyone's vaping. Mr. Prime Minister, it's like what? <laughs> Dirty bare feet. <laughs> Cloth by like linen pants. <laughs> what about just a prime minister with like log dreads, like a white, just a white, <laughs> you know, red, red fern or like Newtown guy with long dreadlocks? And Changes like, the flag to the guys. Rasta flag. <laughs> <laughs> it's illegal to work. Uh, it is a beautiful idea. It is a really beautiful idea. With, um, yeah, can it go too far? Yeah. It'd be scary <laughs> if it actually happened in reality. Yeah, do, like, do it. I, I think we'll just get invaded instantly. Do you think if the Greens took over? Yeah. Oh, guess, not necessarily if the Greens took over, but if the Rasta guy took over. Yeah, because it's the whole idea, do you have to, if you have someone who's in office who's like quite like anti-war, yeah. and it's like, we're not putting any, any money towards the military, all this sort someone of stuff. Someone came, they'll be like, well, we're on stolen land anyway, so it's all yours. That's, like, that's a very <laughs> it's true not idea. even our land. So. <laughs> do you think if the Greens took over, China would just invade and be like, yeah, no, they can do it. <laughs> Probably we'll just go the Greens. With it. We'll try to work together. We can kind of... Yeah, we don't have any military anymore. <laughs> All our money went to avocado toast. <laughs> what about that? Like They'd China stopped buying our plastic, right? They stopped? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, guys, why aren't you taking this? It's like, oh, we'll be there soon to come pick it up anyway. <laughs> 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 so we're in no rush. <laughs> <laughs> just saving on transport <laughs> while we get prepared. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're just preparing for a big, big import. <laughs> yeah, because what's actually going to go on? What's actually happening? What's the what's the situation with the China? Well, I think they're invasion? not even having that. Like, you can just buy the country; it's for sale. What Australia? Yeah, really. We've got a Pretty price. Every, everyone has a price. Everyone has a price. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's like from sale. Everything's open internationally. Chinese citizens are making bucket loads of money. Imagine you just had like the Chinese flag on like the harbour bridge, just like over the top of Change the, the indigenous. Stars and to the yellow stars. That'd be good. <laughs> Terrifying. That'd be. <laughs> Can't imagine anything worse. <laughs> imagine this has happened tomorrow. You just like going down to Darling Harbour. You just look at the bridge and it's just the Chinese flag there. The three flags. Maybe it's a better thing. Who knows? Do you think? Why? Nah, I don't know. It's got some pretty bloody good food. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> pretty bloody good food. I could do with a few more Chinese restaurants. <laughs> I could do with a few more. What even is Australia? What is yeah, Australia? What actually is it? Continent. What do you think the difference? We'll go one by one in one sentence. What is Australia? Okay. What is Australia? Australia is. <sighs> Dang, that's a tough. That's a really it tough. Is a tough. That's a really tough question. Oh, I, I, I might need a bit of time. Do you have like anything that comes to the top of your? I'd say the yeah. land of the free. <laughs> <laughs> For some, <laughs> that's Australia. Is it land of the free? For some. It's the place I hang my hat. <laughs> I'll say it's a continent in Australasia. Whoa, scientific. That's good. I like that. Yeah. I would like to say it's the the best place to live. Probably, probably the best place to live on Earth. Probably, I like that. It's probably the best place. Yeah, I feel that's. I think literally <laughs> that probably the best place to live on Earth. Yeah. And I feel that's the attitude that Australians really have. If you let put a gun to every Australian's head, you'd be like, okay, well, it's probably the best place on earth. Yeah. Maybe Amsterdam and maybe some of these weird Nordic countries Poland are technically or better. Yeah. But who really wants to live in like Sweden? <laughs> yeah. Where it's yeah. like dark at 11, 11 a.m. Or Switzerland. Yeah. Like, yeah, or Switzerland. Yeah. Where it's just full of like Swiss Free people. water and everything's perfect. But have you ever met like a Swiss person? They're annoying. They've never left. They're annoying. Oh, there. But they're an- you don't really want to be around them. Yeah. They're like Swiss cold, people. they're Band like... Swiss people from Australia. <laughs> yeah, but it's the whole idea. I think Australians are the best people on earth. Yeah. 
can't beat Aussies, man. Like, they're very friendly. And this is the idea. Nordic people are cold yeah. and serious, and they're just not fun. They're not fun to be around. What's our quote? We've got mateship when you become a citizen. Mateship is the crucial That's true. It's like, yeah, come, come on board, mate. Yeah. You go to a pub and it'll just be like a guy who's literally got like a, a, like a knife wound across his face. <laughs> Straight out of Sudan. Goes to a pub. He's like, hello, is this the pub? He's like, yeah, come in, mate. You come and get a beer. Have a beer, mate. Have a beer, mate. Let's go. Have a beer, mate. You know what, mate? That's why we've got the tall poppy thing as well. Like, they yeah. have to live together. If you want to be my mate, you also can't think you're better than me. So that's why we're the only place that can sustain the mateship thing. Yeah. Oh, true. True. Yeah, I really like it. I think Australia's the, the best place. We do seem yeah. to have this, like... Maybe we'll go on tour, see some other places. We might go to on Who tour. Knows? Yeah, I might like to do, like, a real city... A city kind of review. Yeah. I'd that like could be a great... Modern day. I'm I, very do, curious. Do you know what's so funny? So I do like, that all the time. I'm literally... Go there all the time. I go to China all the time. Yeah, yeah. And like on YouTube. On you, yeah. I do this Don't China... Don't travel anymore. Do you know how crazy it is in China? <laughs> it's so crazy. I've never been. It's like... I haven't even been on YouTube. You go on YouTube. <laughs> I, I know I've never been to China either. I'm going on YouTube all the time. It's out of this world. I'll try to get some up. Um, what, are, what are some examples? But what happens, like, you go through their CBD, everything's, like, flashing. They have all these, like, light effects on all their skyscrapers. It literally looks like the the future. Let me have a look. Because, dude, you're not looking at China videos. You're looking at a... Dubai video. <laughs> <laughs> Dubai is crazy, though. I think it's... Oh, you typed in strobe lights. <laughs> 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 This is in China. This is just a light effect. Okay, I think I've watched a few of these. <laughs> this isn't even a laptop. This is a this is a this is a notebook with a racist caricature in it. <laughs> okay, we got some. What is it? Is this the city? Oh, here we go. Like, look right. at that. That's sick. So we're looking at China. We have got a bridge. We're looking at China. We've got some calligraphy. Thousand writing. door. But look at what the buildings are doing. They're flashing. Yeah, they're like got flashing. Lights. They've got yeah, like got lights that. straight up on the buildings. It looks beautiful. Where's the field? Like, look at that. Oh, that looks crazy. That's crazy. You just have to admit, that's like they're yeah, it winning. Like it's from the future. This they're literally like, in the future. Yeah. Are you sure you didn't type in Blade Runner? I know. <laughs> that's literally I watch these all the time, these like walkthroughs. They're so far advanced. From where everywhere the else in the world is. I do like they've it's abolished kind of religion completely. Yeah. Communists, which is cool. I like, I like the idea of that. It's a cool experiment. Okay, so yeah, Seems no religion for them. Russia, oh, Russia is also a religious. Really? Like, yeah, that's, yeah. But you can. Uh, but there's still like huge Muslim populations all throughout Russia. That's true. Oh, yeah. so you're in China. They've actually. Yeah. Do you abolished. know what? Do you know what in China? <laughs> right. We just saw this. I tried. I'll try to get up on the screen. But I heard that the reason it looks so cool and like all the buildings seem to have this like light show going, it's because the government owns every single one of them, and they say no. You may be, um, let's say, uh, Optus. But you're going to do this with your lighting. Um, yeah, this with your lighting. You have no control over that. Communism. And that's the only way you can have like light shows Unity like that. that. Yeah. Yeah, because the government controls every single one of these buildings. It's like, we want it to look like this. We're gonna have like this cool light effect that's gonna go through all of them. And you're all just you don't have a say in it. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in Australia, let's say the Commonwealth Bank's like, we're not doing that. Yeah. It's a bit, dude, it's going to kind of ruin the whole, we want to do this live thing. It's like, no, we're not doing that. people who haven't agreed. Yeah. Right? It's like, no, we're not doing that. It's Australian, mate. I don't yeah. care. I literally don't care if it looks cool. We're not doing it. <laughs> but like China is, they've got no choice. It's an argument for like totalitarianism. Yeah. yeah. Let, <laughs> let them have the controls so they can do pretty light shows. <laughs> I can't make any decision. <laughs> I don't have freedom, but at least a guy on the other side of the world can watch a video of a guy walking down the street. Be like, look, see, at it's it's look at this podcast. Yeah, look it. at this. They love the light shows. I'm not even joking. I think as like people in China or in that city in particular, if you're walking out at night and you see that light show going on, you're like, we're winning. <laughs> yeah. We're winning. Yeah. There's a sense of we're killing it. I've right never now. seen a light show here. We've got vivid. It's horrible. But it doesn't look anything like that. This vivid, vivid literally feels like time. 1990, the light show really? that happened down there. You don't think it's that cool? It's 2023. Doesn't look know. anything like. Doesn't that. look anything. Doesn't look like anything that. like that at all. It's that's like that's going on all the time as well. Yeah. Literally like nonstop, and it feels like it's sort of another walk through where people were just like <laughs> we're just looking at more, more China based stuff. I think I watched 
one walk through. Oh, trying to walk through nighttime. And I think it was like two o'clock at night and it was just packed. Everyone was in the streets. <laughs> Is this it? It's like there's a billion people that live there or something. Yeah, you know, I think that's... You know what would be a great YouTube video like this? So basically it's someone doing a walkthrough. They must have a GoPro on their head or something like that. Yeah. But imagine one for just like... Like, you get to see what it's like being, like, a 10 out of 10 oh. model woman. Oh, yeah. They've done that. I think the girl with the... Look I think cool the New York is. one. Yeah, the girl walking through New York. Yeah. I can't the, even the imagine calling. just, like, there must be a million dudes just, like... It's just... Oh, have you seen? Have you and, seen and, that and one? And when I see that, I look at those men and I think, pigs. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. Yeah, I would never do that. <laughs> Yeah, I'd never do that. Have you seen the classic New York one? The no. cat calling one? Pull it up. That one up. The New York cat call is a classic Traveling video. Traveling the world right now. Yeah, we're going from, where is it? Where are we now? Changsha to New York. New York. I think it's cat calling. I think it's the cat calling video. Oh, here we go. Is this 10 hours walking through New York as a woman? I think that's it. And she's like a pretty conservative, like average looking woman. He looks like my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. Except happier. <laughs> we'll have a good day. Someone is acknowledging you for being. Be- someone's acknowledging you for being beautiful. <laughs> is this for real? Yeah, this is real. This is like a viral video back in the day. It literally sounds like heaven. <laughs> imagine if this was a guy. <laughs> imagine if this was a guy and you got this from women all the time. <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry. She looks so mad to be living in heaven. All right, where's this? New York. This is New York. Uh, now do Bangladesh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the last Ooh. 10 seconds. She's gone. She's just been kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. So there's a guy's just like walking next to her slowly. Five minutes, he's just I mean, walking next to her. I mean, guy with a camera right here, though? Yeah, but he's filming. But he- <laughs> <laughs> I think he's doing it in, like, a real subtle way. It must be in the back of his backpack or something, uh, like, hidden. Ah. Uh, Dave, girl, she's getting all that. Look at me. <laughs> what is going on? Is yeah. she fit? She's good looking. can't see the back. She's good looking. She's pretty, but, like... She's a very good looking girl. If you walked through the city, you'd probably look at her twice. I think the average guy would. So, but is this like a <laughs> an example of what like New York is like? Um, I, I've, I how think is it, it ten hours a three minute video. Oh, it's ten hours. They sped it up. Oh, so what they've done in these ten hours? They're only taking the the, the nine times. Yeah, the times. Oh. Well, it's like probably 20, 30 20, times. 30, 40, Yeah. Yeah. So she's walking from let's say nine till like. What would it be? Seven or something like that. Crazy. She's having a whole day yeah. walking. But yeah, you're right. Is it the? Is this an idea of this, what New York's like? Because what will happen as well, nowadays you'll see this video right when people be like, look at the guy that keeps on saying, what's up, beautiful? How are you going? It's African-American men. Yeah. And Where's this, this is why it's... A, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally... Because what happens is you probably wouldn't make this video again because that's the trend you would not um, notice. And they'll be like, okay, well, black people must be the problem then. And because that's awkward, you don't even do it. Yes. And I think that's why you kind of have to close this conversation down because it ends with, there's a problem with African-American men. In New York. In well, New you got to do something about it. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, it's like the, it's the Louis J. Gomez joke. Yeah. Where he's like saying, um, no, we like this comedian saying like, we will... It's not even... People complain about catcalling. It's not even called catcalling. Yes. White people stole it. It's called hollering and it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. true. It's like a classic thing. It's like shooting a shot. All these men are shooting their shot. And the problem is like, is this a bad thing? Well, that's what made me think of like the Bangladesh joke. Was yeah. like... It's exactly like that. It's like these dudes being like, show us bobs and vads, show us bobs and vads. Yeah. Yep. Clearly not going to work because there's a fucking thousand people doing that. This yes. also, we've just seen in 10 hours, she's Would got never work. cat called fucking yeah. 30 times. 
I think the main, it's just like the place. It's like you shouldn't bother someone just minding their own business walking down the street. That's not the time to holler or shoot Or is shot. it? Or no. literally is it? Or it definitely like when are you is meant it. To, when you're meant to meet women, it's like, okay, When you're beautiful- out at a venue, if you're at a pub, if you're at somewhere where you meet people, not when someone's going home from a 12-hour shift being a nurse. There's a beautiful looking woman walking down the street. After a 12-hour shift and they need to get home to their kids. Isn't an appropriate time. You don't think? No, definitely not. Especially when there's all these cases of people, women that get attacks. Mm. It definitely isn't appropriate. I have I have female friends who will literally get dressed up, go out with the intention of getting approached by men. Yeah, if you're going out. No, no, no. Like to the shops, to the street, in everyday life. Yeah. And have a problem when men don't look at them. Really? Yeah. True. This is the thing Bring like... on the pod. I, I know, I, re- <laughs> I really should. Because it's like uh, you have this idea when... Attraction between men and women. Attraction is there. Yeah. I think just because assault's going up, it's just becoming a scary <laughs> thing to do. You have the classic idea. This, If Brad Pitt was one of these African-American men, she'd be like, oh, oh hello. <laughs> or if one of these men she was like interested in did that, she'd be like, oh, hey, uh, how are you going? <laughs> but this woman hates black men, which is the, <laughs> which is the only issue. She hates, she's basically saying, look at these African-American men trying to get my attention. I'm not interested in any of them. It'd be, it'd be the funniest thing in the world if like a white guy in a suit did it and she's like, oh, and she stops. And it's like her having a conversation with him. I'd, yeah, I'd really like to kind of go down the rabbit hole on how many of these videos have been made. You know, like it's yeah, like yeah. an experiment. Yeah. Like let's, um, you know. I think you could do it in Sydney. You wouldn't get the cat calling, but you'd get just as many stares. You get the stares. And things like that. that. What happens in a lot of like the Bangladesh idea, a lot of these Indian countries that um, good looking women get touched. Yeah. I watch like a lot of travel vloggers and that's just, just going off the vloggers that I watch. They have bad experience, experiences yeah. getting touched. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, yeah. Is it that's probably is that crossing the line? Uh, crossing the line would be getting touched. Is it crossing? I, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm is saying it? so. That's definitely where the line is. It's a real problem if a man's touching a woman. Is it a problem if he's saying, "What's up, beautiful"? Is that really is a bad it a thing? Where you should get like a fine for it? Probably not. But is it socially acceptable? Does it harmonize society and make everyone feel safe and comfortable? Mm. No. What happened in that video as well, and what they acknowledged the men that followed the woman. Yeah. That's where the problem is. That's where it becomes literally intimidating. Yeah, if it a guy's stalking, like, yeah. Is it really that bad to say, good morning, beautiful? It was this whole idea. When I watched that video, I'm like, if I was a, a man and a woman said, good morning, beautiful, do you know how much but better your day would be? Yeah. It is that classic idea. You even know that. No, no, but <laughs> the idea is if this man is saying, it's like the 1950s man, our grandfather would have been like, my lady, good morning, beautiful. Yeah. That's just how you treated women. Are these men just old fashioned? I guess some of them, yeah. Are these old fashioned men do they have an old fashioned mentality? Don't like that now. Yeah. I don't know if they ever did. I and can't there's no speak re- on yeah. that. But yeah, it's kind of like if there's like a older man who will call like this twenty year old woman sweetie. Yeah. I would assume she's probably gonna take offense to that. Unless she grew up in like a bumpkin kind <laughs> bumpkin. of town. Yeah, full on <laughs> bumpkin kind of town. But also, like you were saying, mm. like there's an awkward trend. Where it's like, if you pay too close attention to this thing. Yes. Cause, and that's what I'm saying about the experiment. Say they're wearing less revealing clothing. And there's yeah. another one where they're wearing more revealing clothing. They do it with men. They do it with really attractive women. Yes. You're probably going to find the trend. People like looking at they attractive like looking women. Good. Yeah, they like looking yeah. at attractive women. And it's awkward because yeah. they want to feel empowered, but they also don't want to be approached. Like... And it's going to happen. That's where it's fucking scary. I feel like it's a Seinfeld rule. He did it perfectly. It's like What's looking that? at the sun. It's like you can look, but don't stare and linger and stare for 10 seconds. Can you, you say what lines. a beautiful... It's like you can glance. Can you say what a beautiful day it is? I can't rub my penis against the <laughs> yeah. sun on a train. <laughs> <laughs> That is a pretty. It's a good rule of thumb. Though. Yeah, it's yeah. Perfect. Can you can you say what a beautiful day? That's this is the thing. What a beautiful day. Yeah. What, like, a, beautiful oh, day. what a beautiful day. You go outside and the sun's just. There's not a cloud in the sky. Birds are literally chirping. And you say, "What a beautiful day this is." Yeah. Is that a problem? I mean, if because it's, it's like significant. Right way, I don't think it's hor- no. I don't it's think like it's significant. Like it's like oh, this is whoa. What a beautiful day. Yeah. 
it's the same thing as seeing like a really beautiful woman. It's like, whoa, every single man will acknowledge when there's like a, a 10 or a particularly beautiful woman. But it's the same thing. It's there. like some ruin it for all. It's like, yeah. The guy who, the guys who followed. Have ruined it for those guys who maybe just want to say, oh, you look Good beautiful. morning, beautiful. Who just has ruined it because snapshot. some people will now yeah. follow them nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we'll just harass them until they have to like go up to someone and be like, "Can you please help me? This guy keeps following me." Of Which course, happens a lot. Yeah, and it's the same thing. Imagine if it was two in the morning, <laughs> it wouldn't be as funny and nice to say, "Hey, beautiful." Do you and think they would stop it? Do you think? Them. Do you think the men would understand? Because what's no, happened in this video as well, you literally get hit with the "Good morning, beautifuls." Yeah, is that a bad thing? Maybe if it's like five men sitting on like milk crates. But you saw it. It seemed to be... Not a guy getting a coffee being like, hey, beautiful. It seemed to be like it was a shop owner, like the owner of a florist being like, good morning, beautiful. <laughs> but even then, you're removing the words from the objective of the person. Do you know what I mean? Right. Those people were not being gentlemanly about this. Yeah. They're, they're pretty much saying like... Good morning, beautiful. You know, they're saying I mean, you something. like you saw the very first one and then kind of forgot. I saw right. the first few. I saw like the first three, and I was like, "That's not bad. That's bad. Uh, that's that's not bad. Uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, that's not bad." Uh, yeah. uh, it's that's, pretty yeah. much all of them were pretty much like, "Hey, mama, they what were. you doing?" <laughs> yeah, it was. It was what very you much. Doing, mama? But you that's know? the whole thing of they see a beautiful woman, they're shooting their shot. And that's the other funny thing as well. Like it's like these dudes are probably so gross. What are you even going to do with this beautiful woman? Yeah, <laughs> probably couldn't even get it up. Yeah, I yeah, will, yeah, yeah. I will be. I will be real. These were really good-looking African American men. I, I didn't really even notice that them. they were African American. If I'm being honest, yeah, I didn't even I see think, like a yeah. huge stretch. You're both, you're both <laughs> hipsters. You're both hipsters no, you're that trying to like literally visual do a visual. block here. <laughs> you're just trying what to get it. you watching? <laughs> it was pretty mixed. It, okay, let's do it. We'll get it up again. We're starting the video again. You know what's again. crazy? We're starting the video again. You're Definitely a rumble. Guy. You're not paying attention to what they're saying, and you're also not recognizing who's saying it. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm just going to go black, white. <laughs> but what a black, mix. Black, black, uh, brown, brown. What's brown? <laughs> Bla brown. Black, man. <laughs> Someone's acknowledging you for being beautiful. You should say thank you for uh, black man. It's uh, yeah. Who sorry. Is, how is he a black man? You can he tell. Like Latino. Okay, you're being crazy here. You're you can see every single person. No, no, but it's not. There's not a white person. What is? Are we going like? We're going on white skin. We're just going on like a real baseline. Is she white? Uh, she looks like she's Latino. So a Latino is black. You're saying doing yeah, Latino. Close to <laughs> black and Latino. <laughs> Black and Latino. <laughs> Some groupie. No, no. It's, it's, but we're it's in New York friends. as well. And what part of New York where it's what? Like 99% black and Latino. It's like, oh yeah, maybe if she went to upper side New York, it might be a bit different. Still, I find the trend interesting. <laughs> I do find the trend inter interesting. The what interesting? The trend. I think you're general. Yeah. I think you're racist. <laughs> Am I racist? I, I really don't know. No, the only thing that would make it racist is if they've cut... Okay, that's all, all the white. <laughs> if they cut out all the white people that cat called <laughs> yeah, to justify be... your argument. <laughs> <be> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Would you know what's so yeah, good? What do you mean, dude? This has two views guy. and was uploaded <laughs> one hour ago. <laughs> there's, a white, boy one there's, a, there's a white guy who said nice. Which is such a white guy thing to say as well. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> Golly. Who <laughs> <Charlie? Mother. laughs> <laughs> The jaw drop. <laughs> I think we guys should do that where they're around an attractive woman. Like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Start doing that more. I think we should bring this back. Bring back what? I think we should bring back catcalling. Wow, you this is. Be do you honest. know what's so crazy? Um, catcalling on a lot of Instagram <laughs> stories very soon. Catcalling ended ten years ago, literally after this video. Yeah, literally. I think it's, it's better. Put an end to it. I don't want catcalling to come back. I really it's bad. Yeah, it's horrible. Dude, Dude, it's just imagine respectful. walking with your girlfriend yeah. and then just five dudes on the other <laughs> side of the road. You're going woo. <laughs> That would be fucking insane. Yeah. What do I do now? I gotta fight these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta fight these guys. I give my girlfriend my keys and say, "Just drive home. Just come see me in the hospital six get, hours just later." Get beaten up by five guys. Yeah, because what's the whole idea? Is it like a problem to have I think like it's an a attraction? time and place, and not time, the place? 
What about where you are? You shouldn't harass someone on the street, man, in their own business. Right. They're in their own space. If you're out somewhere, mm. then yeah, you could go up to someone. If you're at a venue, if you're at a bar, if you're at... Even if you're at lighting up to watch a movie, if you're more in like a... There's a social contract. A different contract. environment. There is a social contract. Okay, contract. so you're when saying... When you're yeah. in the street, you shouldn't bother someone. Interesting. Yeah. So that's the rule now. Yeah. So a guy, I don't even know if it's, it's just like, yeah, like... What if, what if a girl a doesn't look so funny, like the, the uncut version, the girl's kind of like winking at the guys <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> like licking her lips and stuff. <laughs> and then it like quickly cuts. She's got a sign on her bag that says $100 too. <laughs> For everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the cat calls. <laughs> yeah, yeah cat, call me, cat call me for $100 Numbers. hard, cold, hard cash. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's a good one. It's a really good one. That'd be a funny one. The yeah. king just became the king. I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, what's how that going works. on? I, I've been reading about this all morning. I was looking at the news and I can't really figure out what's king happening. King Charles or the Queen d- d- died. Yes. And now someone has to rule the monarchy. So I've the been seeing a lot of thing up. a lot of people say not my king. I've not been seeing king. that that sign. Well I feel like people kinda respected the Queen. She was a bit fresh. Yep. But the king brother to um Prince uh, Andrew, is it? Andrew, yep. pedophile with Epstein. Yeah. Not a good rap. The Queen's son. And he was also best friends with Jimmy Savile, world's most prolific pedophile. The King ever. was. Yeah, best friends. Best friends with Jimmy Savile. He was like, Jimmy Savile would tell him what to do. Really? So it's terrifying. Goodness. Most prolific pedophile in human history, they think. Really? Like over 2,000 people he molested. Goodness. And molested. Goodness. And like all spectrums from like five-year-olds to nine-year-olds getting like surgery being in like hospices just everything yeah. just a psychopath <laughs> good i really need to go into this whole jimmy savile documentary Netflix. again yeah i watched yeah, the yeah. first half of it like the classic tim the dylan joke literally the good half <laughs> that talks about how great he was <laughs> and i'm like wasn't that a tim <laughs> dylan bit yeah, yeah it was yeah. a tim <laughs> dylan bit <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny, like, it couldn't have been more spot on. The first half is just saying he was a great guy who did all this stuff. Yeah. And I stopped watching it. I was like, okay, I get who he is now. That was a great documentary. <laughs> I get who he is. That was, that was, that was, that was, <laughs> he might have been a bit creepy or something. Say no did. more if I hear anything more about how good of a guy <laughs> this is. <laughs> it literally ended. It was like this 20-minute segment of him doing this run for charity around England. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone literally stopping him in all these small towns, being like, Jimmy, and he had a beer with every single like person in every single <laughs> small town. And I was like, this is probably the greatest man to ever exist. He died completely, like, still loved by everyone. It didn't come yeah. out until fairly recently, a lot of things. And it was kind of like everyone, a lot of people knew, but it was just like the time where you could just get away with it before social media. Like, I know you're going to hate this. <laughs> 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 Did he earn it? <laughs> 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 you know, because if not him, then who? <laughs> you know, so it can't have be. to be the most. Does there have to be? Is there some weird idea? Is there some weird like <laughs> we look at that the the cat calling video? In order to be the greatest person, obviously to ever live, you have to be a pedophile. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do you think there's some weird link? Well, I guess I must be the greatest person ever. <laughs> because you literally be like, imagine, imagine there's like two parts of the Bible. The second, <laughs> the second part. You didn't say the second yeah. part about Jesus. Jesus just was molesting. <laughs> he was just the second part of the Bible. They, they structured it like the Jimmy Savile thing. The second part, he was a good guy. Read. You know, everyone's got their feet. Yeah. <laughs> and for Jesus, it was uh, <laughs> children. He was, he was a big pedophile. <laughs> he cured the blind. He turned water they into didn't wine. Translate that section very <laughs> much. They did one verse, and they're like, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus being like, wait, Mary was a prostitute? I never had to pay for her. <laughs> she was like a child, I think, as well. 15. What's going on? Mary, Mary Magdalene, yeah. When God. Was she oh, no, birth? Wait, Mary Magdalene? What was the... Oh, Mary Magdalene. No, 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 The his mate. Was Mary, his mum. Oh, yeah, Mary Magdalene was the prostitute? Yeah, yeah. his girlfriend. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. Who he just ran away with. He faked his own death. Ah, oh, interesting. Ran away to America. I will throw out a I will throw out a joke from um a well known comedian, Ramsey Smith, everyone. He's hey. been on the hey, um he has a he has a joke about um if you come to the 
Sausage Boy podcast um, live this Wednesday in Newtown oh, Hotel. You, oh, really? Yeah, yeah we're doing Wednesday. we're doing a live podcast yeah. this Wednesday. Yeah, so uh, put that in the do the cackle in <laughs> better <laughs> we review that again. <laughs> like ladies in the audience, who lo- wants to be catcalled? <laughs> because that would actually be a great topic. It actually, wouldn't. I was calling. completely joking. Okay. But he had a good thing about like if I dated a, a prostitute, how much money would I save? <laughs> Imagine those three hundred dollars just keep adding up. <laughs> it's, it's a classic bit. It's a really classic bit. Uh, shout Good out to Ramsey Smith if he's listening to this. Very funny comedian. He'll be Let's see you live Wednesday. What time? Yeah, this Wednesday. Live Wednesday, 7 p.m. <laughs> at the Newtown, Newtown Hotel. Hotel. Oh, is that the Comedy one right stand at the station? Uh, no, uh, no. No, that's Town Hall. This one's like halfway up King Street. On the one with the like cheetah print pool table? Is Ooh. that the Newtown Hotel? Maybe. Maybe there are, there's a pool room. There. Is it on like, the train station side? No. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah, train station side, way down. It's near Guzman yeah, yeah. Gomez. They have like a Wii or something. They've got like video games yeah, in there. Fresh. Yeah, fresh. Yeah. yeah. But it's at the... Um, awesome. New Hotel. Yeah. Free? Ticketed? Nah, ticketed. It's ticketed. How much? 15? 15. Yeah. 15. It's free. I know. We can get... With the drink water, <laughs> drink water podcast. I'll chuck you seven there. bucks. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, comic? Uh, yeah, we've got stand-up, live podcast, and music. Wow. Yes. It's going to be a special fresh. musical... Yeah, we're trying some stuff out. We're going to do it monthly. Oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, new event? Yeah, so it'll be like once once a month. And at the moment, we're, this one's going to be fucking sick. We've already done one. This yeah. one's going to be sick. Crazy. This one's going to be huge. Yeah. Okay. New comedian guests. Do you sell out tickets? What last, do you last one. Yeah, last time was, we sold out. Yeah, it was wow. packed. Yeah. yeah. GG's. So you yeah, come to this one, literally, and come to if you if you're listening as well. Like, it's yeah, yeah. it's well, going to be a yeah. very... I'm sure when this comes out, we would have already done the live show. <laughs> <laughs> you take a while to edit. Yeah, I know, I do take a while to, uh, <laughs> to say, edit. It's going to be least. monthly, so that'll yeah, be yeah. Yeah. yeah, Yeah, of course. Well, you'll be catching it um, yeah, monthly. Come I'll on to the that. show. Good. Maybe we'll do a little set. You should do guess a little. Appearance. Literally, guess appearance. First time doing stand up. Can <laughs> <laughs> I get a free ticket? <laughs> I Maybe would be, I'll, do a I'll just do that. I'll be, I'll be so upset if I paid to come to this I know. thing right now. And also if I, <laughs> also if I went to this You're thing, like, what thing a loser <laughs> if you paid to come to this. Also if I didn't get a few free drinks. Yeah, yeah. Like maybe like someone to quench my thirst. I would need. Yeah, of to come to this couple thing. Couple of beers, mate. Make Lunch. Sure. Lunch. Dude. Good, it's a long way to get here. Got a, a I room in there. I can <laughs> stay out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Social Boys Podcast Life, everyone. Um, what else is going on in the world? Um, this oh, is the reg episode. Uh, we're not really the sure what? yet. This is YouTubian. We're I not think really this is sure. Pretty rumbly. Yeah. Do you think it's rumble? I think yeah, we've extremely. been. I think we've been. I think okay. we've been nice and clean. <laughs> Maybe we have. I think we've been. <laughs> sausage Boys. Sausage Boys is fucking worse than this. Yeah, it's <laughs> a lot worse than this. Yeah. It's a lot worse. Yeah, than that's this. crazy. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. I guess the difference. A uh, funny thing we stumbled into on the Sausage Boys was like. Sometimes you make these comments, yeah. but it's fine because we're joking. Yep, yep. But sometimes someone will say it and it just gets lost. So <laughs> there's yes. no laughter. Yeah, yeah. And you listen yeah. to that isolated and it's just fucking <laughs> horrible. <laughs> it's just actually hate speech. That's pretty much what our podcast, if there's no laughter, it would be hate speech. But oh, 100%. There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of laughter. So it's just put a lot of, a lot of insets just that this is a comedy podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and and this, remind yeah. people continue. That's why we actually have a laugh yeah. track as well. Yeah, you because need we need to protect ourselves. Like, we say something crazy, we need to have a laugh track yeah. immediately afterwards to just kind of signify, no, this isn't a joke. What's well, actually what I like about what you boys do, it's more brave than what I'm willing to do because it's like the shit that I. Oh well, maybe I just don't have opinions. It's a as level much, of we know? do we do keep a level of irony that's just one hundred percent throughout We're playing the whole. with ideas. Yeah, but you're happy to talk about stuff, and yeah. I think it's like important. Yeah. yeah. With Whereas, this one, it's more like we're just, yeah, we're wanting to tackle ideas. On the Sausage Boys, there's this solid level of irony that you can't even really take what we're saying is, you don't really know what we're saying. Yeah. Here, we're just breaking down things. Yeah. It yeah, may be a bit crazy, but we're just trying life's to... Life's a bit crazy. <laughs> life's a bit crazy. <laughs> like we the Sausage Boys, if you want to hear what I actually have to think, yeah. it's not going to be fucking funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'd be pretty really yeah, boring. It's, it's going to be so boring. Yeah, really yeah, boring. Yeah, yeah. And angry. <laughs> 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 targeted towards one uh, ethnic minority. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to get Paul and Hansen on this podcast. Yeah, we're open to conversations. We literally just yeah. Have, yeah, bring up ideas Paul, throughout the next few years. Get Paul, <laughs> yeah. Paulie, Paulie H. It's a, it's a political you're show. You're watching Paulie and you probably are. We're pretty popping now. 10 views. Yeah. 
weekly. We're an, we're an ideas show. Yeah. People find it quite intimidating to have ideas. We're all going to wear a burqa. That'd be a, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a really good bit. Um, that'd be really good. I was talking to my girlfriend about like women wearing revealing clothing. Yeah. <coughs> and brought up, like, would you be watching a TV show where it was a dating show? And they put the couple in a compromising position. They dress this girl up super provocatively to like attract the boyfriend. Yeah. On this reality show. Oh, this is this is specifically done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So nice. there's the couple, and then they've added this third woman to seduce this guy. Right. Just to make her to see something. what he's gonna do with this attractive woman. Yeah. Even though he has a girlfriend. Even though he's got a girlfriend. Classic. Watching Classic. this with my girlfriend. All right. And it's like, <laughs> um. I'm like, whoa, kind of. And she's like, what? And I'm kind of making the point like, no, don't play dumb. You know this is a problem. She's wearing very revealing clothing. Yeah. Yeah. They've put this guy alone in a room with her. How's he meant to feel kind of thing? She's like, I don't know. Like normal, like blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, (laughs) this is designed to do this, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you don't think it'd make a difference if she was wearing a burqa? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, and beautiful. she said no, no. That's, yeah, uh, almost a round of applause to, to that. That's just some mental gymnastics going on in that girl's head. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah, it's so funny. Just like, yeah, yeah, the that way whole thing. Women interact the way that, but there's like different the brains work. What some people, or scientists, have seen that like men are more physically attracted when women are more it's more of like a psychological like romanticized story is more the deep attraction that they will right. get there where men are just very physically yeah of course like based. yes yeah you look you look good yeah. or you don't yeah yeah women is kind of like you would have this guy that looks a bit funky but he's kind of maybe like looks like a bit rough he's got kind of like an edge to him they're like oh i like that where at this guy yeah where a yeah. lot of women will like read story porn where men will just like kind of just want to see the physical thing <laughs> yeah just yeah, the physical course. image just straight and I, honestly i honestly don't think women understand that because it's just a different well, how brain. could you yeah yeah, yeah it's a literal couldn't. like different brain yeah. the the chemistry in it and it, i wonder if it is the result of testosterone that would do that thing Makes you more, like, mm. driven to, like, physicality. We're like, that looks good. I'm going after it. That's probably why we seem like pigs, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. not us necessarily, but why <laughs> it's perfect. very easy yeah. to categorize. Yeah, we're perfect. We're great. It's very yeah. easy to categorize men as pigs. Yeah. Women yes. can be like, yeah, you're a pig. And it's like, that is piggish behavior. <laughs> That's extreme. <laughs> Just seeing this thing and being like... <laughs> yeah, going, we're, going we're, towards yeah, it. <laughs> there's no good morning, beautiful. Like, no, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and even to the point where it's like physiological I don't need to think about this at all yeah I just say this and go, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's just like an instinct literally like an instinct yeah, that's but if good she was looking burka <laughs> yeah You'd- the Saudis have solved the world it's like the cat call and that wouldn't be happening in Saudi Arabia. wouldn't happen because <laughs> you really start to think like if that was just a society women had to cover themselves because men couldn't contain themselves that's how Islam that's how they formed the burka was yeah. that not that I agree at all. It's extremely misogynistic, but it's like men can't control themselves. Men are yep. perfect. We don't need to worry about that. It's up to the women to cover themselves to stop men. And it's that kind of thing. It's like, well, if a man sees you, that's kind of your fault. You need to cover up and protect yourself because men are just doing their thing. Let's, let's, play, around. let's play around with that idea a little bit. <laughs> let's play around with that idea a little bit. Yeah. Do you think there, I don't know, is there something to that? On a, on a misogynistic level, of course, but it's... Do you think it's based in like an idea of we've just accepted reality is this way and there's nothing that's really going to stop men from being pigs. pigs so we've given up we have to try something else yeah we have to try something else because yeah this this whole thing isn't working but i guess modern day society the cat calling seems to have gone down 
But then I feel men are creepier in a different way now. Yeah. Men will like pretend to be these great guys yeah. and be friends with women when they only have one thing in mind. Yeah. And I feel that's way more devious. And I feel that like a lot of girls that I talk to, that seems to like mess with their head more. Yes. Right. Where they're like, where they I don't know what's going like, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single guy is lying to me. I'm, let's say, going on 20 dates. 19 of those guys do not see anything with me and are just wanting to use me. Yeah. And say, like, you have a friend or something like this. What's yep. worse, your friend being like, oh, no, I'm not attracted to your girlfriend at all. Yes. Or yeah. being like, <laughs> dude, she is so fucking hot. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Your girlfriend is so fucking hot. Yeah. Like, please don't <laughs> leave me alone in a room with her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're like, I just got to go to the bathroom, dude. I'm going with you. <laughs> I'm going with yeah, you. Yeah. No, like this is like a real thing, and it's very funny. Like, say you've got, there's like a thing we've suppressed so fucking much, and what is better? And I'm yep. fully on this tip at the moment because I was watching what Eyes Wide Shut last yeah. night. Oh, Have you guys nice. seen that? Yes. So yes. it's very much like. Just a husband and wife. The wife sees the husband with these girls and then he's talking about men being like pigs. You have no idea what women experience. And women also experience sexual feelings for other dudes. Yeah, it's just got me like spiraling like in this down idea, this whole this, thing. Yeah. And it's like, who can you actually trust with <laughs> yeah. this? Yeah, and then completely. it's like the most honest person is the most piggish. They're the only people actually telling us what they're thinking. Yeah. Everyone yeah. else is kind of like lying to themselves or yeah. lying to you. Yes. And what one is what one is I better. feel like it's like you can be normal about it and you can like have self control. That goes into the, the lying to yourself that thing though. Women, yeah, like That's the lying to yourself thing though. How are you lying to yourself? You're because acknowledging that there's beautiful people, but you're not like you can still have self control. It's the degree to which you're going to risk it all. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the only thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I guess you're saying there are good people. And yeah, good we just have self-control. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. But yeah, if someone's yeah. like, oh, I don't, I'm, I'm zero attracted to your girlfriend. It's like, I've never, if anyone said that, I'll just laugh. It'd just be like a funny thing if someone said that. Vice versa. But there's nothing you can say that is good in that situation. It's like, what do but you think of like, my girlfriend? Yeah, but it's like, you don't even need to have that conversation. It's like unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. That is... You can get like super hippie culty about it where it's just like, I don't know. It's just life. You don't even need to really talk about it. Everyone mm. kind of knows. Everyone's aware. Yeah, but not in like every community, I guess. But Yeah. Yeah. I guess I might be in a unique community. Yeah, you, you are full of like, what, art school yeah, hipsters? Yeah, artsy people. Yeah, 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 artsy hipsters. Open people. And I guess the nice thing with like, I... I think the way that I guess a lot of these Western countries are advancing Gen Z people. Yeah. I was having a conversation with a good friend just about like, what is Gen Z? What are they characterized as? What's, how do they talk? How do they think? There is this like fluidity. Yeah. They, they are gender fluid. They are attracted to everything. They do see each other just as beings. Yeah. Where they, I feel a lot of Gen Z people like everyone's attractive. Yeah. I'm attracted to everyone because I'm like, let's say every, I think most Gen Z people are like bisexual um, and gender fluid and don't really have an identity that everyone's attractive. When everyone's attractive, you can then control yourself because it's like, okay, I've accepted that I can be attracted to anyone or anything, but I still have self-control. But we know we're all attracted to each other. Maybe that's a perfect world. Literally. And it's just, it's not that serious. Like it doesn't have to be this. Yes. It's like, this is a guy, I can only hang out with guys because women are attractive or da-da-da-da-da. Yeah, that's literally me. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, how that's I literally live you. Life. That's how yeah. you live your life, which is very... And I know this that... This is the Fresh and Fit podcast, everyone. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But there's nothing misogynistic about this. This is just more of... You see the progression. You see maybe bisexuality and not conforming to like gender identity as a progression as a society maybe because like you can either go down the route of okay well we're just going to cover all women because they're just being real or you have like oh no we're gonna have to change direction because this thing isn't going to work guys have to all be attracted to guys and girls everyone's just attracted to everyone and that's going to be the answer but i feel like even just that gender in uh, that gender ideology doesn't even have to be so 
specific like i feel like modern day masculinity is almost just like um just insecurity on a lot of levels where it's kind of it's not even like masculine it's just like being deeply insecure about being a man and you have this like image to uphold where it's more masculine just to like be yourself and like paint your nails yeah just kiss a guy on the lips like it's not that serious because you're so comfortable within your masculinity you don't really care i think it's the you don't have to uphold this image of like I think it's the opposite. I think like you're you can't going dance in the other direction. Like that kind of thing, because this is how men dance, and this is how men talk, and this is blah blah blah. Where it's like you can just you're comfortable within yourself, so you just don't really care. I feel I feel people because that's a that's a great take, yeah. and I feel that's what a lot of Gen Zs do. I feel it's trying to be something you're not to make sure that you're not this masculine I think it's just thing. Comfortable. It's like you can just do anything; it doesn't matter that much. But it's not true. I think if you wanted to just be comfortable to do anything, you would just kind of chase women, and you would be like the African American men in the video. They're being themselves. Yeah, they're doing. They're like, like, oh, I'm just being myself. I don't have any shame in being a man. I just am. Um, oh, good morning, beautiful. Yeah, that's what I normally want to say. I think. I disagree. I th- I, no, you know, it's an interesting what you're one. Saying, rap is like there's like the someone being like comfortable with femininity is masculine, but Karim is saying that there are disgusting parts of masculinity. Yeah, like cat calling or something mm. like that. Yeah, being like, no, I'm a fucking doofus, and I'm just gonna send it in that. Yes, like it's not he- like the ideal of masculinity is fucking broad and some of it is gross. But I feel like a big thing for catcalling, what I've seen, like, friends that I've had that catcall, unfortunately, generally come from, like, really bad families and are extremely poor and uneducated is predominantly the reason as to why. It's not necessarily they're, like, just this toxic guy. It's more they've just had a very hard life. They've never really had that many, like, women friends or good relationships with their mothers. And they're just kind of these, like, messed up kids. Oh, but this is all the th- thing. Yeah, this is good. And I like, they yeah. try to, like, they have this, like, ego that they want to uphold that they get all these chicks. And it's just this weird, like... The J, kind of J from in the Inbetweeners. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah completely. It's There's a weird a thing. Sad. It's, yeah. it's sad that he's having to kind of gawk at every single woman because his dad said that he's gay <laughs> <laughs> every single day of his life. Yeah. And that's why he's, like, forced. But you could do the opposite. You could have the idea of the progressive child who had, like, a good relationship with their parents, um, a nice uh, variety of people they hung out with were conditioned in a way to be like, no, I'm going to paint my nails because that's what men do. I'm going to be attracted to everyone because people are just this. That could technically be the conditioning. The natural person is the one that's going to be like, good mo- good morning, beautiful. He hasn't been conditioned too much. Because I guess with a lot of these people... Ugh. But I disagree. Yeah, with you that could literally go both ways. I know. And I could, I can completely see what you mean. You could have the idea of someone who just like... I think it's to just out- ignorance. What I would say, you say, like yeah, in that kind of ideology, it's just comes from what I've seen. For people or, who yeah. do that, who I know, you have ignorance and then you have conditioning, it's and a- you could you could do conditioning on both parts. We have like these men who didn't really have many mother figures or father figures; they just had their boys yeah. and like a toxic environment. That's a conditioning, yeah. And then you could have someone who was conditioned by their parents and their large group of like meeting every single type of person. Um, resulted in them having this sort of conditioning where it's like, no, I'm going to be attracted to everyone. I'm never going to catcall because it's wrong. Where they're kind of technically could be going against their natural instincts in that scenario. It's like... What, you feel a natural instinct to catcall? I think there must be. I, d- I don't think... Yeah, so. no, it's a, it's a very interesting... I think it's it, like a desperation. It's men it, that have never had a real relationship have this like desperation to get women. And it's this like... You almost do it because you know... It's not even a reality, and it's just this, like, I don't even know, it's, like, a very deep thing, in a way. I will say, it's very brave, and it, yeah. and it is, it does come off very masculine yeah. and yeah. ignorant, yeah, which yeah. is tough. There's something tough about that, the fact that they'll put themselves on the line to be like, hey, beautiful, yeah. when someone yeah. could be like, yo, that's my wife, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's I'll fu- true. I'll fucking yeah, do you. Let's walk outside. No, but then the guy that cat yeah. called is like, fuck you, man. She's beautiful. I can say that. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's like, that's tough. And maybe we don't relate to that because we're pretty nice. Well, yes. I, I don't but know then what you do in your free time, <laughs> rap, but. <laughs> <laughs> but there is that difference. It's like, yeah, if you see a pretty girl at a bar and you're like, hey, beautiful, would you like a drink? It's like, that's different to 
just whistling at a girl walking by. Good morning, Going beautiful. Going home from work on the street is a lot different because you're not even trying to get her attention. It's kind of alpha. It's like self-destructive. It's like you're just doing it in this weird way to kind of make yourself feel better and make her feel weird and awkward. The only thing is with like the, the demographic in the video, African-American men... <laughs> 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 African American and Latino men are known to be ha- it's working. They have multiple partners. Yeah. They are the one group that seems to have like constant engagement with women. They get more women than any other group. What famous African No, no, African American and Latino men. I don't know where these facts are. No, it's no, it's just just like in reality. It's just lie. And I'm just I'm just kind of throwing facts. I think this is based in something. But I they seem to have more think. partners. They seem to be the most desirable. They seem to be the men that kind of get women the most. <laughs> it's a stereotype. Yeah, I'll give it that. Yeah, maybe that's where you're getting stereotypes that do come from a real place. All right. And I think if you even look <laughs> at look at like a crazy amount of statistics, even in like general like STDs, um, matches on um, dating apps, having multiple partners. They're also the people that would lie about having multiple partners. Be like, oh yeah, I've had 100. But, but you do, do like multiple STDs partners. is like an economical thing as well. But it's also Largely. access to access to uh, having multiple it's partners. It's that same thing for even just if talking about African-Americans in New York predominantly are on the lower side of the spectrum. Less educated, come from worse of family backgrounds, yep. are more likely to be a bit more ignorant. And yeah. a bit angry at society of being marginalised for centuries. Yeah. So it's more on that side, I would say. I do Rather think... Rather than just in their nature. <laughs> not even in their nature, just as like a societal thing that these are the men that are getting most of the women. They, they're they having multiple partners. Yeah. African, American and Latino men seem to have more partners than the other racial counterparts partners or just sleep around more sleep around more get attention from women just have like a higher body count all that stuff the men that seem to be catcalling it's obviously working i think it comes from a place where it's like if these if these men are like killing it and this approach is working yeah then why stop it there must be something there Mm, i'm gonna have to agree if i'm being i don't think yeah i don't think the catcalling is what's doing it but it's the Mental, constantly trying, constantly trying. Not a, it's it's the one. their philosophy allows them to do that, yep. and whatever whatever that is allows them to do other stuff that is attractive. It's very interesting. It's very like alpha, yeah. actually. And women do like an alpha man. They like a man it's who kind of takes it's command. This rude guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't want some dork who's like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and kind of keeps walking. He's like, wow, well, look at me. Oh, I'm, 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 I've got to catch a train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be yeah. like, what's what you up to, Mama? Yeah, just okay. Versus- <laughs> okay, what you doing later? Just versus this I'm, other I'm dude. ready to go right now. <laughs> versus this it's- other dude that's like rubbing his hands and licking his lips and going, mm-mm. <laughs> just look, stare and going. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my God damn! It's like no, I didn't finish high school. <laughs> But uh, I've got game. It's game. Yeah, this thing game works. Game. The, the rubbing your hands, licking your lips. <laughs> what are we doing tonight? <laughs> what we got on tonight? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's good. It's good. Are what? we doing two eppies? What's the vibe? We've only um, got five minutes. Yeah, we've only really got four, four minutes. got a bit of time. What are we gonna four minutes to minutes. save the world. I want to talk about... Uh, we've got a few other got topics. Four minutes to save the world. <coughs> Four minutes to save the world. I'm just okay. chug a I'll be right back. Oh no, too easy. Uh, we can run through the different topics we had. I did want to talk about like the Ukraine and Russia fight. I think it was in Parliament or something like that. Oh, the ripping of the flag. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that was a that was an interesting one. War spilling into politics. Always it was beautiful. good to see. Yeah, it was like a real classic. Nice suits, classic. nice building. It was one of the funniest Actually, things. Like children. Children little bickering fights. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was like a perfect representation yeah. of what's actually going on. Yeah. There's a war going on and these two figures from each country are like, don't really want to have a serious chat about it. Anymore. Yeah. Kind of just switched into It was beautiful. Violence. There was something so human about yeah. that moment, I think, where it's like... Got primitive quickly. Yeah. Where this like 
It's like we hate you. We're trying to what yeah. we're doing. What we're I'm going to do to you right us now? Up every day. Yeah. What do we have to talk about. Yeah, there ain't much to say. Yeah. Literally, I've lost family members. Yeah, I'm losing my country because of you. There you your are. Your military is about to push yeah. a button and kill. I know. Rich kids. And you're doing know. this thing right now, taking my flag. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to act like cordially. I'm yeah. going to fight you. <laughs> and it was it was beautiful. That's what I mean. Yeah. I reckon Putin and Volinsky need to just get in the they ring. They need and to just get it finish. The That's winner how they should solve. What about just like the best fighter yeah. from each country? Maybe they're like Jake Paul and someone can open up. Yeah. And then like Logan Paul and Tate and then Vladimir and like, Volinsky have a fight. Straight up on. their <laughs> just best made a boxing. Their best fighter. What is them two? They train. Yeah. Oh no, no, I do think Russia sends their best fighter. Ukraine sends, Ukraine their, best sends their best fighter. Who wins is how it ends. What if I one think... fighter is like a Ukrainian Russian? That's going to be a bit awkward. So oh, but whoever, which, wherever he's based, that's the thing. Wherever they're what based. What if he's Russian based in Ukraine and the other one's Ukrainian based in Russia? You have to be in the country <laughs> at the time. And I think we should do the same thing with China. If China wants to take over Australia, they've got to go up, up against Anthony Mundine or whoever we've got. <laughs> Spaniard. Spaniard. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm getting ready for the China fight. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I'm getting um, up at 4.30, not because I want to, because I got this fight for the country later. <laughs> Imagine just the amount of training he would get, the way people would rally around him. Oh, and just, there's just some Chinese guy that's just going to murder <laughs> him. <laughs> He's going back to <laughs> flies him across the murder. room. Murder. <laughs> murder him in second. Just flies. <laughs> Well, his yeah. argument though is just man on man, Russia versus Ukraine, right? Yes. But it's like Russia's like, oh, I'm going to bring a knife. Oh. And then the Ukraine's oh. like, oh, yeah, our guy's going to bring a knife. And they're like, and oh, we're going to bring a gun. Yeah. We're going to bring a gun. And then this guy's like, oh, well, yeah, we're going to bring, gonna a, bring nuke. a nuke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're keeping it's classic. Like, oh, oh, you guys can bring a nuke too if you've got one. <laughs> Biden will give you one. No, that's fine. How have they been fighting for so fucking long? Yeah, what's it's going been on? almost a year now. Yeah, what's going on? The Ukraine is lit. Military industrial war complex. Because what is money. it? It's like you've got like billions, billions of dollars, of dollars sent man. from like America and millions sent from Australia. Like everyone around the world is just sending Ukraine enough money to literally help and them. It's so funny. All the like the free stuff that Biden's given them. It's like you read the fight. It's like not free. It's like you can pay it back over the next forty years. No right. Oh, okay, that's kind and of. And if you can't pay it back, we can just put our military base in your country and yep. set up and take all your oil. Like you don't have to pay us with cash. <laughs> just take yeah, all yeah. your resources. But he is like a bi- billion tanks. Interesting. Money, money, money. Yeah, and no, I do money, think... Money, um, money. Who's going to win? Who's got the... I guess the UFC's that. You can bet on sports bet oh. now. Oh, my bad. Oh, the peep show. Should we just watch that? Should we watch the peep show? Um, I'm on sports bet. I just put $10 on Ukraine. What do we got? <laughs> I want to talk about... <laughs> yeah, the US, the US is like, oh yeah, Ukraine, you can borrow Mike Tyson, but um, something funny. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way. But uh, uh, do you both know Brian Johnson? No. So there might not even be a point. There's <laughs> <laughs> even no, just not be a point. I've, I've got a friend called Brian. And I've seen his Johnson. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we've got the jokes playing it towards the end of this. Um, Brian Johnson's a guy who wants to live forever, paying like millions of dollars a year to do everything what he do you can. What do you mean live forever or live as long as he can? He wants to try to age backwards and he also uh, wants to age. like... Wow. Yeah, because so what literally he's... live forever. He wants to try to... There's the idea, I think he, he was, like, flying a plane. He, like, learned to fly a plane. And then he did the... um, What's it called? What's it called? The autopilot. Put the plane on autopilot. And he saw how much better autopilot or this AI technology was yeah. at flying this plane than he was. So he's basically like, what if I did this with my body? Put it on autopilot. Yeah, so every single one of his organs, he did, like, all these tests. And he's like, what do I need to be the optimal... Maximum. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to do that. So he's doing absolutely everything to be basically living in autopilot mode. That's why I, I feel like it, we're not robots, so it doesn't really work the same. Just to argue against the point. No, it's good, yeah. Where I would say, like, optimal health isn't a good thing. Well, health in, like, the generic term of eating the exact right food. That's what he's doing, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Sleeping I feel like the perfect can be amount, extremely unhealthy in ways when you don't live in, like, a healthy planet. When you're breathing in like petrol fumes. What the thing is, he's he's getting around all that. He has perfect oh, air he's quality. Moved to, oh, yeah, right, perfect okay. air well, quality, then, yeah, perfect water, perfect vitamins, perfect routine. That's this great. is his setup. This is his setup. Who's if the you- cat calling then? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said this guy was trying to be healthy. 
<laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Though. But yeah, what he does is like little things. I think he gets up at four o'clock. He doesn't eat after lunch. One o'clock, I'm done for the day. Does he have breakfast? Yeah, he has like three meals a day. And they're like perfect for him. They don't seem to... It's like nuts and um, eat meat? fruits. Doesn't seem to eat meat. Really? Yeah. Wow. Doesn't seem to eat any meat. Interesting. Which is... And just like these perfect kind of vitamin drinks. Every single nutrient he needs. He dies he does, in like, two years. And it was just... <laughs> he just gets stabbed to death. <laughs> Of someone's like, I'm gonna ruin your dream. I'm gonna ruin this whole thing. But apparently, he is like uh, aging backwards. Wow. And apparently, like, I think his genetic age is like dropping more and more and more. Damn. Because he's doing everything. He and it's the idea of. Like, he becomes, gets back into the womb. <laughs> <laughs> he becomes unborn. Yeah, people literally. Uh, there's, a, there's a trend on YouTube as to hang out with him. It's like the Wim Hof thing. Yeah, yeah. And like go through this da- guy's daily life. And he just like works out perfectly. He does like red light therapy, all this sort of stuff. It's fascinating. We just got we've got cells that are dying. You can hold off on that by being healthy, having good genetics. Gonna but you're going to fuck. Eventually. You're going to die. You're going to die. And there's but nothing wrong with that, bro. You don't have to be embarrassed. <laughs> I know, but it's an interesting one where I guess he's like. I wasted my whole life. He's done this commitment. On this mountain. (laughs) (laughs) Everyone I know is dead. Yeah, I'm I'm 90. I'm about to die. I've lived my whole life very fastidiously and boringly. No children because it was a risk. It would have aged me. The only thing is, though, um, it's like in this autopilot mode, it's it's up to him, but he's like, I've never been happier. I've never been healthier. I'm so focused. Like... When you really think about like the the autopilot thing, yeah. Imagine just feeling like a hundred percent because you're doing everything you can to do so. If you had like a perfect night's sleep in perfect conditions, breathing perfect air after eating perfect food for a week, you would be like literally like raised. Yeah. You'd be in this state of like, whoa. But it's almost nice, like the yin and yang. It's good to feel bad sometimes. It gives you ideas. Completely. You, need the balance. Completely. Like you don't want to feel good all the time. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Weird existence. You want to go is. through horrible things, have horrible experiences. But make things better. If this guy is literally like, it's examining his body twenty four seven. I think you go insane. He. That's this the thing. When you actually go by the the science, he won't be. He's literally, <laughs> no, but, like, literally, it's all like science based. Like, he's. I, I, I'd put money on it. in thirty years, you'll go crazy. It's an you'd lose one. what happiness is because you're like, I don't even remember what it was like. So, am I even happy now? By that point, he's going to be like five years yeah. old. <laughs> 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 and just insane. His mum becomes pregnant again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's such a fascinating. I think it's such a fascinating thing to even explore because I do agree. Like, is that Put really living to uh, do all these things? Yeah, I think it's sad. Yeah, he's been on Lex Friedman. He's been on a lot of these. Oh, podcasts, really? I'll, I'll give it a watch. And he's now doing the rounds again. He's coming through for like round two because I think he he was this. Also, he has um like a hundred million dollars. What does he want to do in life? Uh it's- that. He That's his wants, whole. It's he all wants about to, him. Yeah, he wants to see if he can like live a perfect existence. A bit selfish. But also, you could just compare him to a monk. I you know, do yeah, say the people that are like striving selfish. for nirvana. He's like a guy striving for nirvana scientifically. Yeah. The monks may not be able to get there, but this guy seems to be reaching this state of nirvana or this state well, of the monks like perfection. Have got there. A lot of monks have reached. Yeah, nirvana. I know, and I think this guy from the interviews. Seems to have reached that state scientifically. Yeah. It's just a fascinating idea. And I think we may see a lot more of this. These like m- science monks. Like biohacking. Yeah, yeah literally. Right. And because what happens is the same like philosophy as like the, the monkhood is if you're going to make this your single goal to be as good as possible and to feel as good as possible, you can probably achieve that. Yeah. It's a scary thing. And this guy's doing it. But I guess for the monk thing where it's very much like it should never be based on the material world, your sense of nirvana or you. This never isn't reach this it. is isn't any material world either. It's physical. But purely the, I physical. Mean, sorry, if everything is based on the physical world, you'll never re- reach nirvana because it's all mental. But that's what happens. So much of this mental nirvana is based on your physicality. 
So many people are never going to be able to reach like their optimum selves because they're not sleeping, because they're not having good food, because they're not in good conditions yeah. and because they're not doing like these specific things. Let's say he does like lung capacity things. He's working out for an hour, very like structured. He's doing all these things to How reach, he reach state. like a social sense of happiness. Um, also, he seems to he nail every. Kids. He has a family and kids, right. but what he does, he sleeps by himself in perfect conditions. He has his own room, but he has a family and kids. See, you, honey, it's uh, and he, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm Off going to, to sleep. Chamber. And what happens is he. Like, he why are you ignoring me? He, He's like, I'm going to live way past when you're dead. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> and uh, watching your habits is going to be pretty soon. soon. Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Cheetos and M&M's. <laughs> I'm having my weed grains <laughs> and quinoa. But yeah. we got to wrap it. we got to wrap it. What a podcast. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Oh, you thanks for having us. Come, come again. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Dissect cat calling again. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank Please you come, come again. again. Good night, everyone. GG's drink water. See you later. Peace out. Yo, yo. Sausage Boys Podcast, Airheart the Band, South Coast Poster Child.